Hello everybody, this is Ben from coretuning.net. I'm going to do a quick video about quarter horse reading and writing and what new users should do. This is assuming that you already have Binary Editor installed and operating and your licensing is all handled and everything's ready to go. You also already have your J3 port prepared on your computer and your quarter horse is installed. So if all of that is true, then we would open Binary Editor. You already have your databases downloaded and installed. So we would type in our catch code. What this does is this opens the strategy for you. This opens the catch code for you, the tune file. It also sets BE up for the read write functions for the quarter horse. This is a mandatory, so you have to do this. So now that we have that selected, we go to our hardware, we make sure that we have moats enabled. Once moats is enabled and we have the strategy file open, the read button has two parts to it. The bottom part will read the factory PCM, the top part will read the quarter horse itself. So this is a confusing situation for new users. You have to read the Ford file out of the computer so that we can start with that file. So E on. What Binary Editor is doing now is it's reading the tune file out of the PCM. What we're going to do is save this as, I'm going to, I always set up tune folders and this is a five liter uh, explore computer so I would come in here I would set up a new folder testing and then I'd save this as factory read so there we go at the bottom you can see it says factory read BEB we can compare this to NRT1 which is our factory file then we can calibration differences and everything is stock there's no changes so now this is where we can make a few edits pick whatever the I mean whatever you want to do let's do this we'll give the mass error curve 10% and then I would save this as base one. Save it however you want. Now, whenever we go to write it to the quarter horse, the key must be on. And I select write. It's asking for the token. We used your your quarter horse package came with one token, so this is the licensing for your vehicle. We select yes. We'll overwrite base one. It attached the token. It's putting, and the tune file that's in the quarter horse matches the computer, so it's writing the tune file to the quarter horse now. Something I'd like to add is notice at the bottom, it's the base one is now green, which means it is a token file. If you have a black file, it will not match your computer, so it will ask for another token. There's a few other things if you wanted to use advanced mode versus basic mode of the quarter horse setup. If you have any questions about that, you can email us. But in the help files, under the quarter horse setup, it has some pretty good descriptions on what that means. If you're not sure how your computer is set up and you're trying to use advanced mode, you would type in your, your code, which is an RT1 in this instance you can go to help and about and this will tell you what that code is it'll tell you if it's a two bank a four bank a single bank and if you want to use advanced modes you can and this is what the, the strategies will tell you what the bank count is 
If you guys have any questions or concerns, just email us and ask away. Just wanted to make this video to clear up some things with new users. Thanks.